Hello friends and welcome back to the channel for war number four of season 52 and today we have a matchup against PBT and this war is a very special one in particular because for the first time ever rank three SIG 200 Void is coming to war alongside Chavez and Vivision. Of course I've used Void in war plenty before but my seven star was unduped until recently and this is the first time that the seven star has actually made it onto the war team so very excited about that. Starting off today on path one in section one, node one, and we have a thing here uh, with reinvigorated and personal space healing. There is indomitable on this node, so no heal reversal, but we will be able to shut off the healing pretty quickly, of course, with Void. And I've taken things across the war map, various nodes, including thing bosses, and with Void, the strategy is, is almost always the same. Just uh, your magic number here is 13, so whatever special you're going to use, special 1 or special 2, you want to give him 13 rock stacks, and then your special will push him to 15, and then you can safely bait out a special after that. So, baiting out this special 1 here, and then we're going to do a medium light medium into the special 1 to give him 15 stacks. We can bait out another special 1. We've already activated Indomitable, so he cannot heal from any of our debuffs here. And uh, this fight is pretty much over. Really surprised to see a six star thing here. I'm not really sure it would have mattered though. The fight would have taken about the same amount of time because it likely wouldn't have been like a high sig seven star rank three. Uh, but yeah, this fight is uh, pretty much over. You can see him ticking down. Uh, a little bit of pause in the direct damage because of Fear the Void. Triggers protection one more time. And I think we bait out this special one and uh, he is dead immediately after that. Really nice fight. All right, next up we have a Havoc on node 10. We're going to be using Viv Vision for this. This node has Masochism and Vigorous Assault, but Viv is a really, really good option for many champions on this node uh, because thanks to her ability to phase instead of parrying to get openings and the fact that her heal block is a passive effect, she can do a lot of fights on this node without ever triggering Masochism a single time. Now against Havoc in particular, he has a very high amount of energy resistance, and I was not confident that we would be able to clear his health pool in just a standard special 2, special 1 spam rotation. So in this fight, we are going to opt for that Fury buff from the special 3, just to increase our base attack damage and, and all of our other damage, frankly. We also have Void on the team. Void actually has a synergy with Viv that increases the potency of personal buffs and debuffs. So we are getting a nice little, I think it's like a 10% bump uh, on her Fury buff, which is going to help us here. Now, as you can see here, the, the fight is starting off really well. We haven't taken any damage, which is how you really want a Viv Vision fight to go. Uh, we've got the Fury buff up, and now we're pushing up to the special two, trying to keep the heal block on him as much as possible in order uh, to counteract the tactic, since Havoc is a tactic defender that's going to handle uh, the power gain from the tactic. We missed there, but he backed off. That's fine. And uh, waiting for this power gain to finish. Uh, again, since we don't have the heal block on him, the power gain is going to be at full potency, baiting out that special two, baiting out a second special two, and now we can safely go in, reactivate the heal block, and uh, kind of go in from there, phasing into another full combo into the special two. I think we nail all five of the prompts here for the bonus damage. Uh, nice, nice red damage there. And then from here, it's get back up to the special one, probably about a bar and a half of power or so, and then we can start our special one spam. However, what ends up happening here is that one of the hits in my special one here ends up missing, and he is going to immediately come in and punish me. And uh, then I don't have the heal block up here again, and he is getting the power gain from the tactic, and I know that, that his natural power gain is going to push him to the special three immediately, so I just spam my special one, and uh, fortunately after that first one, he dashes in instead of tosses his special three, and I get out of there with a very, very lucky win because I was not running an invuln boost. All right, up in section two, we are on path eight. We have a Carl here on node 26 that we'll be using Void for. Carl is a tactic defender, so kind of my first taste of using Void against a tactic defender in this meta. Now this season, I am running the Resonate Mastery, which gives you access to additional debuffs, uh, helps you get that tactic up sooner, helps you keep it up more frequently. With Void in particular, it is extra helpful, of course, because it's a unique debuff and thus feeds into his direct damage output. Now, Void's debuff generation is a lot slower than most other 
science tactic champs. However, he can easily counter the regen and the power gain part of the tactic just naturally, but he is still very susceptible to the miss rider of the defense tactic. So if he does not have that heal block passive up from the tactic, he, uh, he still has to watch out for the miss during that power gain. Now on this next special here, the heal block expires mid heavy and I do miss twice. Luckily, Absorb Man does not punish me, uh, which could have been, probably, I mean, probably wouldn't have killed me, but it, it would have cost me a few potions. So yeah, again, got to keep one eye on that power gain passive when it triggers. If you don't have the heal block up, you really just need to back off and wait until the power gain passive ends. Otherwise, uh, you could potentially get punished big time. All right, next up we have everybody's favorite Node 35 placement, a Gore. Going to be using Chavez for this. We have power backs running. We have an advanced power boost locked and loaded. Uh, going to be starting off with a heavy attack, and we get three crits here, which does about a quarter of his health in one heavy attack. It's just awesome. Going to be doing another heavy to get a second stack of the negative zone, and now we have the power gain reversed from Rich Get Richer. Uh, I should be doing a couple more hits in my combo here. Uh, before I do my heavy because what happens here is he dips below a bar of power and now I'm forced to either parry to and risk some debuffs on myself uh, or special one spam uh, and I opt for the latter there. So the goal here is we're going to kind of have to wait until the negative zone wears off or get some intercepts like I did there uh, in order to get our openings. Uh, no special two in this fight. I, I can't remember doing this fight before without ever using a special two but you know Chavez can take this fight in a multitude of ways I guess. And then one more heavy attack finishes him off there. Alright, up on node 47, we have an Adam Warlock. It has been a few seasons since I've taken this fight uh, with Chavez. Uh, I feel a lot more comfortable with it now, just using, using her and fighting against him in particular. So I think this is a pretty long fight. And the deal here, of course, is every time you gain a bar of power, uh, he's going to gain a Vigilance buff. And whenever his buffs end, regardless of if it's the Vigilance or not, you have uh, a couple seconds to hit into him with a special attack or a heavy. Otherwise, he's going to trigger a Falter on you. Now, in this fight, I have a lot of problems getting the full decks on the special one. Um, so I, I am running an Indestructible Boost, as you saw there. But I, like, repeatedly just mess it up. Uh, and that, you know, when I get hit by it, obviously I can't punish the special one either, which is problematic. Now I am saving my special three in this fight. Uh, I'm not going to be using any other specials, just relying on my base attack for my damage here. And the reason I'm doing that is that I, I want to be able to have the special three kind of like in my back pocket uh, if the falter triggers and I need to remove it or clear some space for myself. So that's what I do here. Fire it off. This is going to trigger uh, all three dimensions, so our attack is going to be bumped up uh, by quite a bit. Trying to avoid the unblockable here, baiting out this special one. I think I take a hit here as well. Yep. Yeah, just, I don't know what it is. Like, I, I can fight Adam Warlock on other nodes on the war map and be completely fine with the special one, but it just really threw me off my rhythm in this fight. Now, one thing I was trying to pay attention to... Uh, is the pod, because in previous fights against Adam, I sometimes will launch my special two right into his pod, and then it'll mitigate like all the damage. So I'm trying to avoid doing that here. Uh, we're just kind of waiting out here. Special intercept with the special two. It uh, I get full damage before the pod occurs, which is fine. No crits, though, on that special two, which is, you know, less fine, I guess. And then uh, we've got the falter on us, because, again, he just doesn't want to be very cooperative. Uh, but we have this fight pretty much locked and loaded. No worries here. I think one more special one from him at this point does him in. We do get a nice full dex here, uh, and then a full combo uh, finishes him off. So, there we go. Could have been a little bit uh, smoother, of course. Alright, last fight of the war is the Wong boss that we're going to be using Void against. We uh, we sent Void against a Wong boss in a previous war. It wasn't me, but it was another rank 3 Void. Kind of a slower fight, uh, but very, very safe. It's only like 57 hits or so. Uh, we ha do have the Mr. Fantastic debuffs here. That's just going to give us access to some extra damage at the start of the fight. Um, I don't really worry at all about keeping them active, as you can see. Just because it's difficult to get like an early knockdown against a stun immune Wong. So as you can see, we've already lost them. Uh, we did about, what was that, about 20% damage uh, with them up. So, you know, they, they, they kind of serve their purpose here. 
Now, a bunch of things you have to watch out for in this fight. Of course, since he's stun immune, uh, you have to bait heavies to get your openings if he doesn't have a bar of power. And uh, you do have to watch out for the unstoppable. So, like, bait a heavy, trigger the unstoppable, and then kind of do it again. Or, of course, you can just punish the special one, which comes with his own dangers because if you trigger the dex buff during the special one, uh, then he's going to go unstoppable if he has one of those blue spells active. And then, of course, on top of everything else, you do have to watch out for the miss if you don't have that heal block up from the tactic when the power gain hits. And again, you'll be able to counter the power gain itself, uh, but you won't be able to prevent the miss. So you just got to keep one eye up on his side of the screen. Make sure that you see that bright red heal block icon. You can see uh, we're doing uh, a nice amount of damage here. Uh, I can't really see. It's about four or 5,000, I think, per second, depending on how many debuffs we have up. And uh, our attack rating is increased substantially with Fear of the Void up. Yeah, so this is pretty much the whole fight. Uh, you also have to watch out for when his Eldritch Energy reaches above 90, and you need to heavy counter uh, his special one in order to clear that energy safely, obviously, because you can't parry it heavy. You have to heavy counter special one. And uh, that heavy finishes him off, and we have a boss solo. All right, we did end up with the win in this war. Six kills for me, zero deaths. Our record improves to three and one on the season. Really, really pleased uh, with Void's debut. And uh, a bit of a teaser for war number five. I, I bring him again, and we have more, more rank three Void fights on the way, including a Photon, uh, which I'm pretty excited to show you as well. So, folks, if you enjoyed this, please let me know by hitting that like button. And as always, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next time.